New at 10, parents came to us worried about a new playground that is dangerously close to a busy street. Well, Charles Benson has good news for parents tonight. He joins us from Washington Park with a story that's new at 10. Charles. Well, Carol, I was in the park a couple of weeks ago for a different story, and this guy comes up to me and says, Charles, you've got to see how close the playground is to the busy streets. Well, there are the busy streets. There's the playground. It can not only hit one kid, it can hit 10 kids. Barry Henley loves bringing his little grandkids to the new playground, but he has one big worry. The traffic is really heavy here, mm -hmm. so sooner or later it's going to happen. You know, it's going to be an accident with a little kid, and then, uh, you know, that's going to be a disaster for all of us. Playground is perilously close to a busy intersection with Sherman, Lloyd, and Lisbon. So Henley has a simple solution. So I would think it would be a good idea if they had like a chain link fence, you know, going around the edge of the park here just for safety precautions. Yes, that's understandable and that's been a major concern of the community. County Supervisor Russell Stamper has been working on getting a fence or barrier that would prevent kids and cars from getting too close. I do bring my son here. My wife and I have come here and uh, we do look forward to a safe and family friend environment. Supervisor Stamper says it may take to the end of the summer to get the barriers or fence up, but Henley says that's not fast enough. It don't make no sense to wait two months. Let's get it in in two days. How about that? Well, we followed up with Supervisor Stamper about why it would take so long. He said budgeting is one issue, but he says his goal is to get it done as soon as possible. We're live in Washington Park. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Yeah, got to keep those kids safe. Thank you, Charles.